Yo, what's up, Dying Light fans? It's Zombie Gaming, and we are back with another Dying Light tutorial guide for you guys. If y'all check in the top right corner, I've got plenty of other ones I've already done for you. Power, agility, survivor XP, how to get vehicles, grappling hooks, you name it. I'm helping you guys figure out how to do it. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to get your legend level as high as possible, which is 250, as quick as you can do it. If this video helped you guys out at all, please consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on the video down below. I've got plenty of other Dying Light videos for y'all to check out, and there's going to be a lot more content coming out, especially when the next game gets released, which I cannot wait for. So let me go ahead and show you guys what this looks like, huh? All right, so once we get right into it, you'll see here that these are the four skill trees. You won't see Legend until you level up your Survivor all the way. So once you get Survivor to 25, all of your Survivor XP gets converted into Legend XP, okay? Legend XP, once you get it all the way up, as you can see, just gives you 12% damage increase, 44% damage increase, 20%, and it gets higher and higher as you go. So I'll just keep buying some here and here. And then as you get to level 25, right above right here, it says you get an outfit at 25. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So the tower is in the center of the slums here. To the north by northwest area, there is, it's right here, the stuffed turtle, okay? That is the quarantine zone that you guys need to come to. It is a big yellow grocery store. Very hard to miss, if we're being honest. All right. So what you need to do is come to this quarantine zone. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Oh, duck. Up. Oh, Up. Oh. All right. So that was fun. What you need to do is come to the doors of the quarantine zone. I am playing in normal mode right now. So you're going to want to come to the start of this quarantine zone and hop on inside. Now, quarantine zones are very simple. They're either kill a bunch of enemies, go from point A to point B, or go find something inside. This one is a go find something inside one. Very small, very simple, minimal enemies, all right? You get 2,500 survivor XP just for completing it, but what you need to do is get the five disaster on relief packs, okay? So you'll see the entire floor is lit up like the 4th of July. Come over here, turn the power off. There are zombies Shit, in the goddamn room. switch if broke down. Gun, go ahead and shoot some of these guys down if you want shoot the the canister on the back of the hazmat one there's plenty of ways to take care of the zombies in here i actually try to keep keep the fighting as minimal as possible because i actually hate having to fight these guys i feel like it just takes up too much time so i open it i'll take a single swing just to get them kind of going i'll turn around and i'll grab pack number two which is right here on the shelves so you'll see they're coming out i'm gonna go ahead and hop up get around them I've got the ability that lets me leap over zombies, so I'm going to actually leap over most of these guys. And you'll see a boomer over here. You want to move up to that door to draw the boomer out, but you want to come over here and get this pack next. That's pack number three. Oh, little bastard. Pack number three over here has been grabbed. Now that the boomer has exploded, we can come back out. Pack number four is in the room where the boomer was. So now that I'm able to get back out and around, we're going to go grab pack number five. This guy's kind of like roaming around without a head now. Pack number five has been secured. Boom. Completed. So what do you do? You head on out. You leave. Like I said, the best part about these quarantine zones is you can do them as many times as you want. I don't have to go back to the quartermaster and turn my stuff in. I can go right back inside and do it again. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to turn my happy ass right back around. Go and complete it one more time. Alright, so once you've completed the quarantine zone as many times as you'd like, I honestly advise you to do this 10, 15, 20 times. It's very easy to do and it won't take you more than half an hour, maybe an hour if you really want to grind it out. You need to quit right where you are, okay? It's okay once you leave the quarantine zone, it registers as a save. When you're in the menu, you need to switch the game you were just in to nightmare mode. You get nightmare mode by completing the game. Go down to play and hit play campaign. Do not hit continue. It will put you right back where you just were. Whenever you get to this menu here where you get to pick which load you want to use, on computer, down below here it says F for advanced, or on controller, it's gonna be X or square if you're on PlayStation. Press X and switch the game to nightmare mode. It's very important that you switch it to nightmare mode. This will get you the most XP for the packs you're turning in. If you do it in normal mode, you only get about 100,000 per time you complete it. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure you're in nightmare mode to turn these in. Do not, under any circumstance, try and complete these quarantines while you're in nightmare mode. It is a pain in the butt. 
and it is just not at all worth your time, okay? Because I did the math on this, and I, I did the trial run to let you guys know which one was better to do. So, based on my handy-dandy little notebook, if you do it one time, okay, and you get all five packs, and you turn it in to the Quartermaster on normal, you will only get 110,500 XP, okay? That sounds like a lot. That is a lot of XP. Don't get me wrong. That is a lot of XP. So if you do this for half an hour, you're going to get almost 3 million XP. That's, that's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. If you do it one time, switch to Nightmare Mode, and then turn it into the Quartermaster, instead of getting 110,000 XP, you get 600,000 XP. <laughs> Now I'm no math guy, but that's all that's over 400 percent increase on what you're gonna get just by switching the difficulty and walking over and turning it in. So that three million you could have gotten for doing it in an hour or a half hour could be tens of millions, maybe even a hundred million XP. Okay? So let's go ahead over here. I'll show you I'm level eight. I have 147,000 XP. We just switched to nightmare mode. That's something for us? Thanks a lot. We Every just gained two, two levels by switching nightmare. It's insane. It really is insane i've done this i did this twice and i had 10 disaster packs to turn in guys i just got 1.2 million xp just for doing that and switching into nightmare mode and it's that simple it's really that simple per usual guys if this video has helped you at all please consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to the channel there's plenty of dying light content to be had here and i hope these videos help you guys get to the levels you're looking for to make this game that much more enjoyable because this is one of my favorite games to play especially when you're max level so feel free to scroll through the channel and see what other videos I have for y'all to dive into. And there will be plenty other ones coming out for y'all to view. If there's anything in particular that you guys are looking for that you would like me to make a video out of, please let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get around to those and make a video for y'all. But until then, hope everyone has a good one. Take it easy.